Hey buddies, Mr. Pugly here coming at you in another Wonderlands video. Today I want to talk about a mistake that I still catch people doing. I originally wanted to make this type of video on day one or even the first week of Wonderlands, but I kind of thought that this would be something that people figure out by themselves. But it seems like a lot of people that I've interacted with and most recently interacted with has actually made this mistake. So I wanted to make this more clear for everyone else on why you shouldn't be putting any points into dexterity. But before we get into the meat and potatoes of the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Twitch in the top right. You have no idea how much helps me out. And let's get into the video. Legendary? Whoa! No way, So first things first, when you look at dexterity, it looks really promising. It looks really great. You see that at 20 out of 40 dexterity, you get a baseline 20% more critical hit chance. Now, most people think this is just baseline. This is additive. But unfortunately, dexterity multiplier is actually a multiplicative multiplier, which in most situations is good. But unfortunately, it's not good in this situation. And the main reason for that is because the multiplicable nature doesn't work well with a low base percentage, which critical hit actually has a low percentage of. Most of the time with a lot of Borderlands math, multiplicative is seen as downright just always good. But in this situation, it's not that great. As you can see right here, we have a base critical hit chance of 5%. Now, most people assume that dexterity is additive to this. So most people assume that when you get 20% crit rate from dexterity, you're going to have a 25% chance with all attacks now to crit. That is simply not the case. Now, items have an additive crit chance, which means that this 14% is going to be 14 plus 5 easy. So this is in fact going to be have a 19% chance of critting. Same with melee weapons. Anything that has the card like right here percentage is going to be exactly additive to the base crit multiplier. So the peg leg has a 5% critical hit chance, which makes all melee attacks 10% chance of critting. The way dexterity works is say you have a 5% chance of critting with all attacks. Dexterity does 20% of that. So 20% of 5% is basically just 1%. So 20% of dexterity is not going to increase your crit chance from 5% to 25%. It's going to change it to 6%. This is the same situation why people don't use bullseye as a main point in the spore warden skill tree. Most of the time, whenever I do a build, I explain that this is filler and I don't exactly explain 100% why I did back in chaos level 20, but just to reiterate what I've said, maybe like, <laughs> like 10 times with my chaos level 20 builds, this this crit chance is also multiplicative, so this 48% chance is really only going to give us 2.3% more crit chance, which means that we're going to see a base crit multiplier of 7.3%, which isn't really that great. I see a lot of people make builds where they fully max out strength and fully max out dexterity because of this one misinterpretation of how the dexterity stat works. And a lot of people are quick to jump the gun on dexterity because of how strong strength is in the game. So they want to crit as much as possible, but it doesn't really add that much to your kit as you might think even if you had max dexterity which is 40 percent extra crit chance multiplicative and say you had a spell that gave you 20 percent more critical chance then you're going to have a base crit line of 25 percent so you know 20 percent plus 5 equals 25 and say you had the 40 percent which adds after that so 25 percent of 40 percent only equates to 10 percent more crit chance which isn't really that much most of the time you want to optimize your burst windows by going intelligence or in two or increasing your max DPS by applying huge dots with wisdom, which is still applicable to a lot of builds that aren't contagion based, even though contagion you know, was nerfed, but you guys know what I mean when I say that. The whole point of this video is really just to inform you that you shouldn't be putting any points in dexterity. It doesn't really add that much value to your build compared to everything else that you could pick. Same with constitution, but no one really picks constitution. I mean, unless they're doing a dire sacrifice build. So I don't really have to explain why that's the case, but a lot of people think dexterity is good, but it just simply isn't. I hope this cleared up some confusion for you guys and I'm going to be showing the crit damage multipliers from lazy data if you guys are interested at the top right now just so you can kind of factor in on how dexterity works in the whole crit chance formula itself as well if you guys are interested. But as always a big shout out to the members who make these videos possible. We got Jace Noodles, Clairvoyance, Rick and Glacius, 31 bar 70, 
Grey Wolf, Wishkeeper, Cameron, Benjamin, I'm not sure how to say this, Abdul Rahman maybe, and then Call a Doctor. These are the people who support me as little as $5 a month, and you can also support me as little as $5 a month by clicking the link in the comments or description or in the top right to become a member on Patreon or YouTube. The more members we have, the closer I get to becoming full-time, which means more videos for you guys. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I hope you all have a great day. <laughs> bye bye and the last shall be first to immerse in a pass out heat facing him up with a moxie melted he woke up drowning in tchotchke hell more in a cave with a torch on a wall than a window arrangement of porcelain dolls